Edmonton, the capital city of the Canadian province of Alberta, has long been known for its natural beauty, rich culture, deep history, and abundant attractions. It's a city that has a little something for everyone. Not only is it home to Canada's largest shopping mall, but also the country's largest living history museum. Keep watching to find out the best things to do in Edmonton, Canada. West Edmonton Mall Most malls are just big buildings packed full of major chain retail stores and a food court. But this 500,000 square meter complex is the largest in North America. With over 800 stores, 100 dining establishments, an enormous indoor wave pool replete with 17 water slides, an amusement park, and an ice skating rink, you could easily spend an entire weekend exploring everything that this marvel of engineering and planning has to offer. While visiting, you can stay at your choice of two hotels, including one called Fantasyland that features 120 themed rooms. The TELUS World of Science The TELUS World of Science's primary goal is to inspire people to embrace science as a way to transform the world into a better place. The nonprofit interactive facility's slogan is celebrating science, but it accomplishes a lot more than just that. The facility has a handful of different activities and entertainment options that turn science into family-friendly fun. And you don't have to be a kid to enjoy this place, as the facility features attractions like an astronomical observatory, an IMAX theater, and hands-on science experiments that are sure to intrigue guests of all ages. There are exhibits that explore the real universe we live in, as well as those that celebrate the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, whether you're traveling with your little ones or aren't afraid to admit you're a kid at heart, this is a spot you should definitely consider. The Royal Alberta Museum at the Royal Alberta Museum, you'll learn about the province's people, heritage, and history. If you're the sort of person that likes taking a look back in time to understand the past, you should definitely set aside a few hours to explore this museum's numerous galleries. Some of the exhibits explore topics like the history of Alberta's landscapes, animals, and indigenous people. Children will also enjoy the museum's myriad hands-on displays as well as its insect gallery. Before we tell you more about the best of Edmonton, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. North Saskatchewan River Valley While there are plenty of parks and green spaces in and around Edmonton, there's nothing quite like the North Saskatchewan River Valley. This large selection of scenic parks is roughly 22 times larger than Central Park in New York. Hundreds of miles of trails, walkways, and golf courses join 20 parks where locals and out-of-towners alike can go to have picnics, ride bicycles, kayak and canoe, ride around on segways, and come wintertime, ski and snowshoe. Elk Island National Park This national park is located just east of the city. It's a great place to photograph wildlife, go hiking, loaf about on the beach, and watch the northern lights. Species of animals like moose, black bears, lynx, and gray wolves can be seen roaming around Canada's largest fully enclosed park. Bird watchers will be excited to learn there are over 250 avian species to see as well. One of the stunning sights is the herds of plains bison that call Elk Island National Park their home. While not native to the area, they were imported from Montana and rescued from inevitable extinction. This is the only place in Alberta where you could find yourself stuck in a bison traffic jam before going skiing and then wrapping up your evening by taking in the celestial beauty of the Aurora Borealis. Ukrainian Cultural Heritage Village This open-air museum was established in the 70s with the purpose of preserving the cultural heritage of the numerous Albertan immigrants that hail from Bukovina and Ukraine. In fact, Alberta was settled by the Ukrainian people in the 1890s. Given current world events, there's no time like the present to get to know what the people of Ukraine are like and what values they hold dear. Known by the locals as The Village, various historically significant buildings have been faithfully reconstructed on the site. The village's crown jewel, the pale onion-shaped dome that sits atop the centrally located Ukrainian church, can be seen from afar. Guests can explore living history exhibits such as the blacksmith, an old-timey general store, and the marketplace. One of the biggest draws is getting the chance to interact with costumed guides who will explain what life was really like for these early Eastern European settlers. Be sure to consult the village's event calendar to time your visit around the many workshops, events, and festivals held here around the year. From harvest celebrations to leatherworking demonstrations to the annual celebration of Ukraine's National Day, there's no shortage of things to see and do while visiting this culturally rich and poignantly relevant attraction. The Art Gallery of Alberta 
Somewhat reminiscent of the famed Guggenheim, this mind-bending architectural landmark can be found in the heart of Alberta's downtown district. The Art Gallery of Alberta is one of the most prominent and popular cultural venues in the province. Within its walls sit over 6,000 paintings, sculptures, artifacts, and installations. Everything from contemporary to historical, international, and Canadian works of art are on display. And admission is very affordable. Seniors, children, and active military personnel will only have to pay $10 to spend the day here, while everyone else shells out $14. Mutart Conservatory Along the North Saskatchewan River's south bank are four pyramid-shaped greenhouses that house a variety of rare and exotic plant species. Within each pyramid is a distinct horticultural environment that represents diverse biomes from around the globe. From the hot and humid tropical climates of Fiji and Burma to the temperate marquee of the North American redwoods, there are so many different species of plants on display at this remarkable attraction. Plus, if you hike up to the high point above the river, you'll be treated to a stunning view of the glistening pyramids against the urban backdrop of the Edmonton skyline. Reynolds Alberta Museum If you have a love for things aviation-related, then a trip to this incredible museum in nearby town Wetaskiwin is a must. The Reynolds Alberta Museum is committed to displaying everything that has to do with aircraft and vehicle manufacturing. There are also numerous open-air and interactive displays covering historic agricultural equipment like old-school dinosaur steam tractors, caterpillar tractors, and thrashing machines. The museum houses over 100 historic aircraft in addition to the Canadian Hall of Fame. Besides planes, helicopters, and gliders, there are also several motorcycles to see as well. The museum features a cafe, gift shop, and a theater on site. Rogers Place, home of the Edmonton Oilers what could be more Canadian than catching a professional hockey game? Edmonton's pro team, the Oilers, have been playing at this multi-use arena since 2016 when it first opened. Rogers Place features curvilinear architecture that will make your jaw drop. But if you think its exterior is impressive, wait until you step inside. You'll feel like you stepped inside an interstellar spacecraft. The arena features top-of-the-line modern tech that includes the largest high-definition display in the NHL. And if hockey isn't your thing, the venue is also used to host some of the world's biggest acts throughout the year. Fort Edmonton Park Named for the first European outpost in the area, this park is the largest living history museum in all of Canada. It features both original and reconstructed historical buildings and structures, giving visitors an up-close look at the history of Edmonton, including its indigenous peoples. Actors stay in character to give you a glimpse of what life was like in the late 19th century. Among the different types of transports that guests can ride include a horse-drawn wagon and an authentic steam train. Over at the John Jansen Nature Center, visitors can learn all about the region's geology and ecology. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Edmonton? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.